Welcome back to JK News Network and you are listening bulletin with Shaheen Ali. Here we bring updates from India and all over the world. So let's get the top news coverage. At a time when the India China rivalry is making news around the world, the Bukaro steel plant has began exporting steel to Chinese buyers. The BSL has exported about 1 lakh tons of steel of varying grades to China from June to September. Let's get started. US VP elect Harris after winning US elections. After Joe Biden was projected to win US presidential elections, his running mate Kamala Harris tweeted, "We have a lot of work ahead of us. Let's get started. This election is about so much more than Biden or me. It's about the soul of America and our willingness to fight for it," she stated. 21-year-old deliberately misses flights, cheats people into buying him air tickets. A 21-year-old Andhra Pradesh man was arrested for allegedly cheating air passengers by convincing them into buying him flight tickets for free. The accused deliberately missed flights after buying tickets online at cheap rates, following which he asked other passengers to lend him money for another flight. He then collected more money than required, earning extra cash and free tickets. IPL 2021 to take place in April May confirms Saurav Ganguly. BCCI President Saurav Ganguly has confirmed that the next IPL will take place in April May 2021. He further indicated that the next edition of the tournament might take place in India. Ganguly further said. We will host the domestic cricket in India. Ranji Trophy, we will create Bio Bubble and we will do it. Filmmaker Sudarshan Ratan, who directed Madhuri Dixit in the 1986 film Manav Hatya, passed away due to COVID-19 on Thursday. Actor Shekhar Suman, a close friend of the late filmmaker, tweeted on Friday to confirm the news. He directed me in my second film with Madhuri Dixit. He fell on bad days, was poor but a very honest man, Suman wrote. So that's all for today. For more news update, stay connected with Shekhar News Network. Thank you.